Hi, welcome to Online LED Store. This is a video guide on how to install the LED hideaway strobe light into a composite headlight assembly. We'll be demonstrating this installation using a double-walled headlight for the 2011 Ford F-150 pickup truck. We decided to install the LED hideaway on the inside right next to where the light bulb of the headlight would be. A general rule of thumb is to install the hideaway strobe as close to the focal point of the reflector and never above the horizontal center line of the light assembly for maximum reflection of lights. Once a mounting location is selected, examine the outer wall of the assembly. Make sure drilling can be done to it without damaging the structural components of the housing. For a double-walled headlight, make sure you avoid all the dimples and connection point which holds the outer and the inner walls together. Before you start with the installation, covering the work surface with a towel or a soft piece of fabric will protect the lenses from being scratched. Here's a list of tools that you'll need. Safety first. We recommend the use of safety goggles while performing all automotive work. Electric drill. Drill bits of appropriate size. Hole saws, a larger one for the outer wall and a one inch hole saw for the actual mounting hole for the hideaway. Rubbing alcohol and cotton pads for cleaning. Silicone gel and applicator. Screwdriver. Shears. Tape. And of course, the LED hideaway strobe unit itself. Lastly, a vacuum will come in handy for debris cleanup. With the mounting location selected and the outer wall examined, we're ready to get to work. First of all, we use a 1 and 3 quarter inch hole saw bit to expose the inner wall. The vacuum is used while cutting to suck up some of the debris produced. Now, we use the 1 inch hole saw bit to cut a hole on the inner wall where we will be mounting the LED hideaway strobe light. Make sure you get rid of the dust and debris on the outside and inside of the light assembly. Using a drill bit of appropriate size, we then drill two holes for the mounting screws. The hideaway strobe is then mounted with the mounting screws using the handheld screwdriver. Keeping moisture out of the light assembly is a must. Therefore, we must find a way to seal up the hole we have cut out. We fabricate a cover using the piece of outer wall that was cut out from our one and three quarter inch hole saw bit. Make sure the pilot hole is large enough to fit the cable of the hideaway strobe. Using a shear, we cut through the side of the piece to make an entryway for the cable to reach the center hole. The reason we did this, as opposed to feeding the cable through the hole, is because there is an inline driver for this hideaway unit, which will require a much bigger hole in order for it to be fed through the plastic cover. Ridding the surface of dust and debris with rubbing alcohol and cotton pads will ensure maximum adhesion of the silicone. Tape is used to secure the plastic cover in place. Now, we simply apply silicone gel to the seams and use an applicator to make sure the silicone gets into all the nooks and crannies. The light assembly is then left to cure overnight. There you go. Here we have the end product, a double-walled composite headlight assembly with a split color amber and white LED hideaway installed. We hope you enjoyed this installation video. Thank you for stopping by Online LED Store.